everybody and welcome back to brand new daddy overflow video i'm dead overflow and today we're going to be talking about a vulnerability which i found recently therefore i'm not actually able to talk about it yet so i'll show it on an example website i made yes i made it but before we get started please make sure to subscribe please make this number 100,000 before the year i'll be really happy and also the big news android hacking course or api android hacking course is finally out see i made this course because you guys seem to be stuck stuck at actually finding trying to find vulnerabilities let's say on tiktok on instagram but the thing about it there's so much more going on within the android apps so why not just go after them i mean you cannot upload stories on instagram from web versions or upload or do anything like from tiktok talk from web versions but from android you can and this course teaches you how to intercept traffic even with ssl pinning installed within the apps this will teach you how to bypass ssl pins on actual actual apps of course with authorization of course if you can actually test on them but it's still amazing check it out and also make sure to get it before the 21st of november because this price will go up also, my ultimate bug bounty course, which teaches you about bug bounty and, you know, that type of stuff. Also, my ultimate game hacking course, which also comes with this. And yeah, it also includes some example cheats. So everything is good. But I actually have one more thing to announce, which if you haven't seen on my channel, Daniel Steinberg will do a interview with me. I hope I pronounce your name man right, but he will do an interview with me about his bug bounty page being absolutely blasted with bullshit AI slop reports. So if you got any questions you would want me to ask him in the interview, which is coming very soon, by the way, make sure to comment down below. Literally any question you got, I got him. I'll ask him and I'll also tell who asked it. Now let's go with the vulnerability. So what this vulnerability actually is about, well, I'm not actually going to tell you which router it is because I'm going to be in a lot of trouble if I do say that, but it's just recently been found and I'm not allowed to talk about it. So there is a Wi-Fi radar option on this router, which allows you to see nearby Wi-Fi networks. Uh, this is the secret we're going to have to steal. And the point of this vulnerability is that I send the, li the, wing the link to the victim and as soon as the victim opens that link, I get their password for their Wi-Fi network and I can connect, therefore do whatever I want. But this is the entry point for me. The Wi-Fi radar option actually shows all of the networks around the user. So to prove that, let's create a simple SSID, like let's say uh, dad's test Wi-Fi. I don't know how to type, sorry. And let's click create hotspot as you can see it's going to say hotspot created and obviously here we can see it now on an actual website i would actually have to pull out my phone and create this hotspot but for now i'm going to use this because i couldn't be bothered making an actual like a functional thing i i am lazy that's all but this is the that's test wi-fi and obviously it gets loaded into the radar but then i had a very silly idea I'm like, okay, what if I just try to load an image, like a basic image pay, like image SRC X on error equals, you know, all or one. What could possibly go wrong? So I created the hotspot and I went back and wow would you look at that we see an alert one pop and this is what actually happened on the actual router page but when i saw this i'm like okay case closed right the vulnerability is there i have to report it well no uh if you take a closer look here ssid limit for wi-fi networks is only 32 characters so therefore there is no way for me to store an actual payload within 30 34 characters hell even my current payload like this let me just show you how long this is already before i even actually write any of the js like hold on so just this without the alert one so i'll delete the alert one dot length this is already 20. so we need 12 more characters in just here or maybe if we actually remove the uh, the source which you know should trigger also 14. so we need 18 more characters to actually exploit the website hack it and send something like a payload or whatever to me uh before i actually tell you what actually is going on but firstly even if this is correct this page is protected with a password and username and i realized that almost every router of this type has this default username which always works but it's for the lowest level of the user which can only set passwords for the current wi-fi network and read it and do that stuff but speed and all of that is for the higher leveraged user but the thing about it is if i try to open this page in a victim's browser which i'm assuming they are not logged in i'm logged in it will ask them to log oh maybe not actually uh, oh, i am logged in here as well because <laughs> okay let me just fix that so i'll try to open it here 
And as you can see, it asks you for a login. So victim is not logged in. So there's several things we have to overcome. Firstly is the user login. We somehow need to make sure that the user is logged in while we execute the payload. And normal people aren't even logged into this. So current password, the default password is user and user no matter what. And if I click sign in, I would be signed in and, you know, I'm going to stay like that. But normal user would never do that, especially on their phone. So there is something different. So there is a different thing to overcome. But if you take a look at this, this is a most basic and most generic authentication or auth authentication ever. And what you can do is you can just put user and user. So password is username is user and password is user. And then put this crazy A in my language or this character and then put just at this website and slash radar, click enter, and now all of a sudden you're logged in and you get to execute this payload. Okay, so that's it. We can log in the user and let me actually already start making some, you know, payloads and stuff. Let me start making the script which will actually do that. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to somehow log in the user and we can definitely do that by just navigating to this so window dot location dot ref so just like this and this would log the user in and our stealer would work at the end of the day but the problem is you cannot now execute anything within like the 18 characters it's not possible okay so then i had a different idea in my mind and that was this see let me show you something uh, firstly let me run the stealer the stealer would redirect you but let me just comment this line out for me to actually show you what's going on. So let me run the stealer really quickly. This is the stealer, so it's on the local host. There is a difference. So let me go back into this. Okay. So currently, now we are within the stealer. And also, let me reset the router to clear all the past networks. Okay. So the stealer, if we inspect elements, and I've been talking about this on my channel, I knew that there is this window.name variable, which can be definitely useful at some point. And window.name indeed came useful. See, if I set something here, like let's say alert one, let's say this is the payload, and I set it, and then I go to a different page, or maybe in this case, I go to a radar page. So after this, I redirect to this, I actually can still access the name variable which is still alert one. And that gave me an idea. What if over here I create a hotspot, which is a script, and I just do eval. So this is my payload, script eval name. And how long is this dot length? 27 characters, so five characters below the actual limit. And this, would this work? I don't know, let's test it. So this is the name we have to create. This would execute variable name, but variable name is set to nothing. That's why we need to set it to something. And what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create this hotspot, hotspot created, go back to radar page, and as you can see, it creates this empty Wi-Fi network. It's not even there. Now let's go into the victim's point of view, or maybe start making this actual exploit. So now what we need to do is we need to get this device very close to the victim's house, like literally, to the point where the router can actually get it and this is great for exploiting neighbors too like getting their <laughs> wi-fi networks and stuff and now here is where we set the window dot name variable to our payload and for this let's make it a little bit more distinct so we actually know what what's going on uh, i'm going to put xss by debt let's put it like that save that let me reset this, the exploit server and let me now open this in a new guest browser where the user hasn't been logged in so guest mode open this click enter and let's see what's going to happen oh actually didn't even run the server great i'm an idiot boom xss by dead we actually found the vulnerability and that's why i firmly believe that this is a vulnerability see you actually need to be close like proximity wise you need to be close to the victim's house but that doesn't matter too much because you can explore your neighbors who definitely don't want to view their password from you like they, they want to they want to hide their passwords from you but besides of that you can send them this link and once they open it xss executes and you can literally do anything so we actually explain a lot of different vulnerabilities here from csrf login to xss to overcoming the 32 character limit to talking about this window.name thing to actually then developing a full exploit 
Hopefully you understand and learn something from today's video and hopefully understand that logic is a very, very important thing in bug bounty and hacking and even in programming or any aspect of life. It is very important and you definitely are nothing without it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe, comment down below my qu questions for Daniel. Stay safe, stay responsible, and as always, peace.